I'm going to crawl on the ground and wipe away the shame on my motherland little by little. The vow of an 86-year-old lady actually saved China trillion dollars. At the age of 86, the person should enjoy the happiness of life, but there is such an old lady who is still fighting on the front line of chip research in China. In addition, the Lungsun chip series developed by her team saved China 1.4 trillion in chip import expenses. This has to start with the story of China's BIDA-3 satellite. When it was launched into space, NASA officials publicly stated, China's BIDA program has seriously interfered with our peaceful use of space program and our GPS global navigation system. Why does BIDA satellite make the United States so angry? This is because the BIDA-3 satellite is a global positioning system independently developed by China. Its successful launch broke the US monopoly on the global positioning system and also shook the US hegemony in space. In addition, all components carried by BIDA-3 are independently developed by China. More importantly, the chips it carries are also produced in China, allowing the United States to lose at least 1.4 trillion in China every year, and the chips on BIDA are the Lungsun series of chips developed by the team represented by 86-year-old Huang Lingyi. The high-intensity work once made her health in crisis. In the worst case, she couldn't even move her neck. Even so, when she was resting on the bed, her mind was all about the chip, and even if she couldn't do it herself, she asked about the progress of the chip again and again. Why is she still immersed in a high-pressure laboratory at such an old age? Hi! Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel. Today, let's talk about Huang Lingyi's life. In 1936, Huang Lingyi was born in a family in Nanning City, Guangxi Province. At that time, the sound of Japanese artillery fire had already sounded in many areas of China, and many people were displaced and even lost their lives. Born under heavy fire, the world she saw when she opened her eyes was that people were fleeing everywhere, the country was invaded, and all she heard was mourning. At a young age, she said to herself, everyone is responsible for the rise and fall of the country. One day, I will crawl on the ground and wipe away the shame of my motherland. No one would have thought that for this oath, Wang used her hands to build up the sky of China's chip field in the next 80 years of her life. However, due to the poverty of the family and the lack of support from her parents, made her study path particularly difficult. The mother even said to her, why do girls have to go to school? Your future way out is to get married. Looking at the attitude of her parents, Wang was helpless. She didn't want to give up her studies, but she couldn't convince her parents, so she had no choice but to ask the leaders of the village at that time. Finally, with the help of the village chief, Wang Lingyi went back to school. She knew that the opportunity to study was very valuable, so she began to absorb the knowledge taught in school with a thirst. After years of hard study, Wang Lingyi was successfully admitted to the Huazhong Institute of Technology, and then entered the Department of Semiconductors at Tsinghua University for further study, which was also her first step in climbing the mountain of chips. In 1960, Wang Lingyi graduated from Tsinghua University and returned to his alma mater to teach. During this time, she also founded the semiconductor major and laboratory. While cultivating talents, she studied deeply in the field of semiconductors. In less than a year, she successfully developed semiconductor diodes. Huang was very happy. This was the first answer sheet she handed over to the country, and the result was undoubtedly perfect. However, after that, Huang's research road became extremely difficult. Her chip career had just begun, and when she wanted to continue her research, her lab was forced to stop due to tight funding. This was undoubtedly a fatal blow for her. Later, she obeyed the arrangement and came to work in the Institute of Computing Technology, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Here, Wang and her colleagues received an urgent task of the country, to develop a microcomputer. She knows that this step is very important for China, after all, computers can be used in many fields, and in some fields that require confidentiality, if you use computers from other countries, you can't rest assured. So, Wang, who took over the task, led the researchers to start the research. In the second year, with the efforts of Huang's team, the 156-component computer was born in China. Again, Huang handed in her second perfect answer sheet. But for Huang Lingyi herself, she was not very satisfied. 
In her view, if China wants to develop further in the computer field, research on integrated circuits and chips is a must. Following this idea, Wang led the team to successfully develop a new structure of integrated circuits. However, the accident happened again. In 1983, due to financial reasons, research on large-scale integrated circuits was forced to stop. After hearing the news, Huang was deeply saddened. She cried all night, but nothing changed. China entered an era of no chips. In 1989, Huang was invited to participate in the International Chip Exhibition. After searching the whole exhibition, she did not see a single Chinese chip. Seeing the brilliant chips developed by other countries, she secretly vowed to design a real Chinese chip. After returning to China, she started her research on chips again. Finally, in 2000, she won the silver medal at the International Invention and Patent Fair in Germany with the chip patent she had developed. In that year, Wang Lingyi was 64 years old, and she gave her third answer to her country. Although chips have been developed, China currently does not have the equipment that can make chips in large quantities. Fortunately, Wang was not alone on the road of chips. In 2003, 66 year old Wang was invited by the Lungsan Laboratory to jointly develop the Lungsan chip. At the age of 66, she is struggling again in the front line of chip research. Due to the update and iteration of technology, she gradually found that her old set of craftsmanship was no longer suitable for the current process. However, with her enthusiasm for chips, she spent many nights studying in the laboratory. At the same time, the high-intensity work once made Huang's health in critical condition. Even so, when she was resting on the bed, her mind was all about the chip. In the end, with the efforts of Huang and her team, Lungsan No. 1, Lungsan No. 2, and Lungsan No. 3 came out one after another. Among them, the latter has been widely used in China's high-speed rail, navigation systems and other fields, directly saving China trillions of dollars in funds. The emergence of the Lungsan series also means the end of the no chips in Chinese computers. Today, Wang Lingyi, who is 86 years old, is still working diligently on the chip in her laboratory. For Huang, she spent her whole life practicing the oath of wiping away the shame on the motherland. She not only represents the power of scientific research in China, but also the progressive power of women. I admire her from the bottom of my heart. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.